Hello and welcome to Trainsome TV. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at the Engineers Express pack for the Edinburgh Glasgow route from Rivet Games. Um, we're not going to actually do the scenarios or the timetable such for that route. I'm just going to take one of the liveries uh, for a drive. However, I'm just going to quickly show you that uh, in the actual game what you get. So for first of all we'll have a look in the scenario section. Um, so there is... A selection of scenarios somewhere if I find them. Uh, for the 66s so there's one you've got spring morning for the DRS livery along with on a roll um, uh, you've also got them for the one um, livery you've also got one there for rainy recall and again that might be actually <laughs> appears to be it I thought it was more than that. No, that looks like it's it. So anyway, I'm not going to do the scenarios because um, I just don't fancy doing that. I just fancy taking one of them out for a drive. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to go to the train depot and I'm going to go on the timetable. To find the liveries, if you head to the Class 66, you'll find them. Living with every other 66 the game has. Um, so you've got Class 66 DRS and Class 66 1. Now, I'm going to go for a drive on the East Coast Main Line. Uh, I'm going to do a freight liner, sort of work, container working. So, I'm going to pick this one, um, go over the East Coast Main Line, and we're going to try and find something. Not too long, but uh, evidently in the daytime at least. Um, which looks to be, it's going to have to be this one, which is a Finster North of Tinsley into Mode Pot 2. So, we'll go with that. I'm just going to pop it in July just so at least it's sunny. Well, at least daytime. We can we can tweak the, the weather as we go on. And what I'll do as well when we get to the end, I will put the DRS livery in just so you, uh, you can see them. I'll put them both together in a yard somewhere, wherever we end up, <clears throat> so we can have a look. Uh, so I'm going to drive the second part of the freight train from Newark Northgate to Doncaster. Right, I'm just going to... A bit of cloud in there. So this is God mode, which you can see you can tweak. <clears throat> Just a little bit of light mist in there. Knowing that you get these invisible trees. So it's got some new LED lights, which is a new addition to the Class 66. And this pack was also it was held back for whatever reason. For a, it's been held back for quite a while. To be fair, I think it's sort of like it's meant to be early December. It was meant to come out. So it's probably sort of nearing on for two, almost two months sort of delay. Um, if I get that right, it's nice that the lights have been um, changed though. It's not just the, the original ones. It's got actual LED uh, textures on there. Um, however, oh, apparently it's time to go in a minute. Um, a couple of little things with this one. I mean, it's got. Um, Nice 3D nameplate on there, which is nice to see. Someone did mention about in in the pictures that the pink might have been the, the long like the long shade, but to be fair, it doesn't look that ugly that bad. To be fair, it looks right to me. One of the big the bigger things is stuff like this, where this um, buckle shouldn't really be there. It should be um, a chain, obviously the, the chain coupling that that shouldn't really be there. It's a shame that's not been. Uh, done away with although that actually is there I can see obviously to attach that coupler on which is the emergency couple which would be used to drag 385 now that's strictly probably not correct to be put on this but for the purpose of this pack I can understand why it's been done so it is what it is I'm not going into politics about it um, at the end of the day it adds a bit more damage to the game you can do a little bit of something else I don't know if we can change it we can we'll get rid of it there we go I could hook it in there we go that's Turn this thing on. Apparently, we've got RHTT stuff in here as well. Uh, we've got everything. To be fair, other than that, I don't really know what else has changed. We've not got no GSMR, which is sort of the norm these days. Sort of come to expect not having GSMR. It's a shame, really. 
Although to be fair, I think there's probably actually some other stuff that's probably meant to be different with cab. I'm not, I'm not a massive blue duck classic since cab connoisseur by any stretch of the imagination. But it is a shame that stuff like that hasn't uh, been looked at for this pack. A lot of it probably is a lot of sort of fucking pace really. It's the way it is with the 66. It would be nice to see something different than a class 66. Although it is nice to see some different liveries for the 66. Which are official. I'm just waiting for the brakes to come off. Hopefully we should be able to start moving. No, quite a long train. It is moving. This is a, a full loaded container rake. Um, we're taking this down to Doncaster down Decoy Lincoln. So I've no idea whereabouts that is in the yard. It was heading north. I thought rather than doing some some form of fictionally scenario with this, I thought I'd actually put these on an actual sort of working that you'd see this on. I mean, that doesn't look bad at all, to be fair, does it? When you look at it like that, it's quite nice. It'd be nice to see some more container liveries in these, rather than just generic. But... Worst things have happened at sea. I'm getting a nice sort of screenshot of this. Technically, we actually should have the lights on the other side. It's the early morning. I'm going to uh, photo mode this as well, just because I can. <laughs> Why the heck not? Um, apologies, it's, it's taken me a while to get back into doing some videos. I, I thought we'd be up and running again by now. Um, it's taken me a lot longer than I originally had planned. I'm so far behind with videos, it's untrue. Um, I've got a lot of stuff that I want to try and do. It's just trying to get the time to do it all. Christmas was an absolute farce in, in terms of it wasn't very well at one point, so I sort of put me behind and all that jazz. So, yeah, we're there though. Just uh, sort of getting there, getting everything back up and running and getting into the swing of things and trying to catch up with myself really now. I don't know if I can do it, I don't quite like that, it's a bit dark. The clag you see on the 66 I think comes from a mod for the middle of main line. Or some other mod that's out there. It makes the clag not go straight up to the sky in a massive plume. Another thing I've noticed this is missing is the uh, zero injury sticker inside each end. Which is a shame. I can't see there being a licensing thing for that, surely. Here we've even got a one with your container. I still don't understand why we've got GSMR stuff in there. <laughs> it's a bit bizarre. Obviously, they've used the, um, the, the GSMR stuff, the RHTT. So I'm talking absolute uh, rubbish here. The RHTT um, control thing. Evidently, it's obviously been copied and decopied over from the um, the 66 from the RHTT back and they've worked off that. I presume that might have been the most up to date version of the 66 or something for them to work from. I don't quite know. That would make logic, uh, logical sense. But 
But we did um, the recent release uh, in terms of route wise was um, the Benilla line. We did that on the stream the other night. Superb route. Um, there will be a video coming up of that very soon. Um, that is on my list of things to do. We have done the stream a bit though, which again, thoroughly enjoyed it. I think to be fair, got rivers <laughs> best route to date. It's just an absolute stunning route. The, the views and that, especially in the settings of that snow, out of this world. And uh, again, we'll, we'll do something like that in terms of a video very soon, um, just to give that some showing as well. Now, I need to move that over there because I'm getting people popping up online playing games and it's coming up in the bottom corner, so apologies for that. Is it for a video? <clears throat> well, this looks absolutely well at home on the East Coast mainland. Obviously, this would be seen working around these parts, uh, most likely doing stuff like this. So, it made sense to sort of do a video like this. I'll probably save a scenario for the stream. So, for the sake of the video, I would do it on proper working. In fact, it's a freight liner. This is a freight liner at the end of the uh, loco. But really, it's the first freight liner loco we've essentially got into. Yes, even though it's not a freight liner branding, it's something I would like to see in the airport. Whether that'll happen or not, I do not know. Um, this is going to be the closest we get. Although, it's only one off. I think there's only one of this loco uh, livery. I don't think there's more than one. One being the. Uh, the pub word we're going to go with. So 60 mile an hour of this working is a, a class 6 working, I believe. Oh no, it's a class 4, so we can do 75. Excellent. If it'll let us get there. I was at the safe system. Too. Bad. Bad Tom moment. Well, I'll get platinum otherwise. Well, for this is an overall review. This is just obviously me just taking the pack for a drive, just showing it off. I've, I've, I've shown a few things that aren't quite right with it, but I'm not going to sit here giving it a full review of all this and that. I'm not going to go political on this. At the end of the day, I'm a developer in TSW4, uh, so I wouldn't sit right and be sitting there slating another developer off. And at the end of the day, Rivia still do a good job on the things that they do. As I said, we, we played um, the Benina line last week and fantastic. So, and there's just coverage of a pack. I uh, just want to show off, so I'll let you guys at home make your decision. You can talk in the comments below. You can uh, obviously leave a comment down there of what um, this piece says you like or don't like about the pack. You can all discuss that in there. Keep it civil, of course, is what I ask. I hate to have to turn comments off. <laughs> Although we never had to do that before, so hopefully uh, it will be tame. I mean, other than, other than what we've seen, essentially we just drive the Class 66. It's <laughs> not different. Nothing feels different. It doesn't drive any different. Essentially, it's just a, it's a livery pack. A couple of scenarios, some timetable. What it, it builds into quite a lot of timetable. Actually, if you've got class 66 in any other route, it'll work on any route that the 66 does, which is nice. At least you can have a bit of variety in there. I've seen them plates coming up after we 
with the Blackpool branches at JT. Um, added a number of name plates in for the locos um, for the 47. But it's nice to see the other packs taking on this and actually adding a bit to theirs. So, I like that. Storming along. We might actually see 75 at some point in this trip. It's a worrying prospect. Definitely, I mean, we are going uphill at the minute, so that's to be expected. We are struggling a little bit. I didn't realise how. It's been a while since I've done this trip, but I didn't realise how bad the trees were, to be fair. It's like how, how like, see through some of them are. Nice if that gets fixed. Well, for those who are interested, link is in the description below, so do take a look in there. Um, I'll put a link to the route as well, if anyone hasn't got the route. The, uh, the main pack will be in there. I presume it's just a straight through run. Going through um, Redford. I forget the, <laughs> forget the station name. Is it Redford? Isn't it? It is Redford. Then to uh, Decoy Down um, Yard, Decoy Down Lincoln, to be exact. I don't think which way this actually goes. I presume it'll end up going around the back, turning off, going to Nisley Waits, Sheffield direction, so it should be going down the, that, that spur down there. Look, we have it, thank you. It's taking power off. Speed please be after me. I'm just trying to just see if there's anything else. But I don't actually think there's anything different in here. Sounds used the most up to date recent audio as well. So, uh, I think it came with uh, SEHS. So we had the, the, the newer AP audio, so that, that comes with the 66, so that's nice. Rather than using the old stuff. Other than obviously taking it just for a drive, there's not really much more to say about it. It's just to splash a clue really for the 66 thing. Which kind of grumble at. I mean, visually, there it looks fine to me. Obviously, disregarding the, uh, the knuckle buckle.
I can see past um, maybe the slight rock colour, which looks fine to me to be fair. It's very minor, I think. Well, the, I think the only other thing is it's missing the middle door. I think these had um, a central door, I think the uh, new one had that. I think as well, actually, they've added some uh, weapons to this fuel tank. Ooh, that, that one down the side. I don't recall ever seeing that in 66. If it has, and I'm wrong, please do correct me. I feel like that might be new. Ooh. Ooh, definitely. One thing to note, you might see a few little stutters here and there in the game. I think it's because of the, um, the setting I've got in God mode and the uh, lighting set up. Some routes it seems to take a little bit of a hit. I'm running it on the ultra top end, so I'm, I'm going to be investigating. The worst one it seems to be is with Blackpool branches, it, it seems to me like an absolute bag of spanners on my PC. I mean, my PC is not a, um, a potato by any stretch of the imagination. It's uh, quite, no, it's not top end like these days, but it's still pretty high end. It should cope. Well, I think basically it's just very. Uh, it's strenuous for what it is. I mean, get that. Let's go for all the camera mode, why not? I probably could have gone the other way and it probably won't take me that long. Shouldn't fog off because it was it was it was getting uh, quite thick. <laughs> so when we get there, what we'll do is I'll line up um, the sheds together. Um, we'll see if there's a contest as well where you can support it with a 385. I'd like to hope there is. And we'll just look what everything looks like all together. Try to keep this from going over. We're going downhill at the minute. Which is normally a phrase we use when we're streaming, it's all going downhill, usually in relation to my driving. Moving forward, so video wise, uh, we're going to be most looking likely to be doing the Wessex mainline for Trains and Classic next, so that'll be the next uh, video. That'll be a showcase that won't be reviewed, obviously, because it's a, a JT route. So we'll take a drive on the scenario, we'll have a look around the route um, and that. So, looking forward to doing a video for that. And, um, Basically, trying to try and catch up with myself because I've missed most of the month. Hopefully, get myself into a position where I at least try and cover everything. 
about what to do. Leave that up because it's very early morning. It's uh, like the clouds playing up. It's early morning. It doesn't help. Obviously, the sun's in a specific direction, so it, it does sometimes uh, blow it out a bit. Literally like eight miles away from Doncaster, we ain't too far away at all. We're about halfway between Bedford. About about halfway actually, good guess. Not too far, we'll start slowing down. That's us parked up and have a little mooch around. I will have to probably spawn another setting though because uh, no doubt at some point this train will end up wanting to depart and head off where it needs to go. This unit won't just hang around. Quick uh, driver change over and off it pops. What the heck's that on the side? What's that? Oh, it's a mouth <laughs> It's very lent over. Different one for that. There's a yellow one, there's a white one back then. Well, there's a mixture. Fairly busy uh, run for this time, one of them. There's so many uh, ATs knocking about. Little zoomers. Get the technical name right. About 12 minutes away from where we need to be. We might get there a little bit earlier, I'm not too sure. Depends on the speed on the yard. It's not actually somewhere we've been to on this route. So, there's the first time for everything. Both I've been to, we've been out the actual. Um, Zoom the depot. But is it Car Road? I think it is. We've been following summer, but we're just getting lucky there by getting the green. But wait, there is some yellows in the hood. Could actually have a look if there's anything in front of us. Uh, I don't think there is. Very busy yard, there's a lot of uh, stock in there. One thing I like with this route is the, uh, the yards are very populated and quite full. Get 
power back on because we have been uh, actually seen a, a yellow even though it's in the hood We've not gone past the yellow yet we'll do it properly at least I'll say what I'll do is uh, when we come to do the next TSW stream um, one of the scenarios off this pack will feature on the stream so keep her out if you want to see what one of the scenarios looks like um, and maybe one day in due course we'll probably try and get something like that on here as well we have a slot available to try and do that Dabber brakes. Again, this working was for Echo 58 Felixstowe North to Kingsley Intermodal Park. Dude, the first part was run sort of like the early hours at the moment. Some of the freights can actually take a couple of hours to get through. You get looped a lot. But essentially, this is what we've done. We've been looped in there. It's probably sat there for a while and you take over when it gets basically time to go again. There's no point sitting in the yard for a couple of hours. <clears throat> Blue and yellow, and it's now gone green again. Trundling here now. I think essentially there's some wire missing there. <laughs> yeah, there's a piece of actually using. Big news reception. I'm not sure how far we have to go up here. Not too far. Just past the locos. Beyond uh, before that red signal, I would presume. Nice to this bit get used up to be fair because again it's, it's not somewhere I've been down. And it gives a little bit extra to the room. 
I feel like an imposter comes to this job. I mean, it could be Phil DB. Phil <laughs> EWS. It is. Decoy South Junction. Is it Decoy or Decoy? I've heard it renamed like various things. Various being them too. <laughs> Virtually, we've made it here. We've we've done a run. We'll do a little handover in a second. Make sure we got the right point here. Presume it's going to stop us in the right place. I was about to start again. I presume this will just kick us out and it'll just disappear when it's ready. What I'll do is I'll find somewhere empty around here and. We'll put a couple of them, well, put, let's say a couple of the two liveries down. <laughs> put them in the pack. Actually, I tell a lie, I don't think that's fuel, fuel mark is snooze. Not there. Might <laughs> it's already there. I've seen it before, never mind. But it was something new. Well, I'll do us. While we're fucking around waiting for that to finish, I can uh, spawn. Uh, oh, yeah, it comes with the uh, wagon spawn, doesn't it? Put them in. There's the DRS. So the DRS um, uh, is that one. I think it's got. These black lights, although they're a little bit different to the one livery, but the black surrounding goes a little bit taller around the backing. But on this one, it's um, just around the casing of the line. We've got LED lights though. <laughs> Again, it's got the uh, the knuckle. Well, not sure how correct it would be for the DRS one. I presume it ain't as an easy job to go and start changing all this, but uh, never mind. It's not the most up-to-date DRS delivery, though. I don't think the 66 has had the brand new, the, the brand new like compass one. The um, 37s had. It had all this sort of like swooping, sort of blended blue and stuff. And um, I think the DRS 68s had the uh, sort of the newer compass where it had like bits of the map in it. I think this was the one before, which some of the locos received this more basic logo and a, a, an all over blue livery. I think it's nice to see DRS in the game. Again, it adds a little bit to it, and you could do the, you could essentially actually um, do these with the RHTT wagons. So you could actually do an RHTT working with a DRS logo, which technically is right. Now this is finished. Let's wait, wait for a minute. Anyway, 
Uh, it comes with these um, sea cows. These aren't new. These have just been basically retextured um, from the ones I think that came with West Cornwall local. Um, with it being a modern pack, the slight thing is what I've noticed with these is it's got the old OH leaf flash rather than like a modern one. It would be a modern pack. The other one is, um, nope. I'm going to do something. I'm going to just decide what it's doing. Uh, it's on. So, the only other thing is that with, it, with this blue livery and this rusted livery, um, is was it the right wagon, in my opinion, to go with the pack? Probably not. It doesn't really, it doesn't really go with the DRS 66. So they're, all, they're an old wagon. Something I would have liked to have seen with this maybe would have been an auto baluster or a JNE dash C, which is like the yellow network rail ones. Um, again, it's nice to see more wagon variants than that. Livery, isn't that? Nice rusted livery, to be fair. Pretty decent. Mm. We are set two. Other than that, that's literally. What you get? So you got that. You got that. You got the emergency couple. If I can get it to do what it needs to do. Uh, there we go. And I've stuck. No. So that would attach up to a three eight five. Now I'm just going to try and see if I can. Uh, I don't know if I can just. No, it hasn't got it. Okay, there's no formation where they have them together, so you'd have to technically you'd um I've got a second, let me eat. Get rid of that. I'm gonna get rid of that as well. I'm gonna break the timetable because I can't be asked can't be asked to listen to those of the six sixties um going off. So I'm gonna put one of these down. Uh let's find a three eight five. There we go. So what we're going to do, we're going to attempt to couple up. Now I don't have a clue what the correct procedure is for this, and again I am stuck in the couple. That's really annoying. Oh, a big glitch when you get near it. Uh, right, so I'm going to jump in here. Have to find my way in. Oh. Now I don't know how technically you're meant to do this. And this might throw me out. It might have a wobble. I don't know. But just for the purpose of this video, let's just show you. How this works. Yard work. Right. Now, I've seen a bit of hoo-ha about this couple and that in, in chat. Again, it's a bit of fun. I don't really know the technical ins and outs of what these things are meant to look like and what they're meant to do. It's a fun aspect. Right, apparently that's coupled. <laughs> now, I don't know if it's technically coupled properly. I'm presuming we have to go into the 385 and do something. So I'm just going to have a look. Try and work out if I can get out of the train. There we go. Uh, right, so that at the minute doesn't look very good to me. So. Oh, for the purpose of a video and all that. Now, where's the couple going on this? I have no idea. Uh, 
Now it's in neutral. Technically, you should do it in neutral. Now, where's the button? I'll be having a blind moment here because I have no idea where it is. Not a clue. Not a Scooby. Just having a look to ensure that I'm having, I'm not having an absolute blind spot here. <clears throat> it's literally, I don't see, I don't see a button. How is it done on the screen? Not a clue. There'll be a specific way now to do this, and I don't have a clue. I just thought I'd try it. I'll just try and go back in here again. Before I wrap things up, we'll see if it actually has coupled and if it pulls and tries to drag it away. Oh, it has. Although the, the cup wasn't uh, quite. I mean, this thing is technically working because you know the motor's working, but. It worked. <laughs> I've probably done something wrong at the end of the day with this. I, I haven't had a go of it properly in the snow away. It would probably tell you how to properly do this. But. We've had a go, and it works to an extent uh, in the way I've done it. <clears throat> anyway, I'm going to wrap things up. So, links in the description. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Any comments, do pop them in the below. Um, try and answer what I can and get involved with the chat. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell for future videos. And catch us on Twitch on a Friday and Sunday at Train Some TV. Um, no, twitch.tv. Full slash Train Some School TV. <laughs> I forgot my own channel. Anyway, enough rambling. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll catch you very soon for the next video. Take care. Bye for now.